Hey friends, it's Quenby, the Grateful Queen here on YouTube. Welcome back to another video about reselling online. Today's video is an eBay listing tutorial. So this video is perfect for you if you want to learn more about selling on eBay, if you're newer to eBay and you're a beginner. I also designed this video with Poshmark sellers in mind or people who sell on other platforms and are interested in learning about selling on eBay. I have so many friends that sell on Poshmark and I hear the same concerns over and over again. So Poshmark sellers will say, Quimby, I want to sell on eBay, but it just seems so complicated. Or I want to sell on eBay, but I don't really understand about shipping or returns freak me out. So there are lots of concerns sellers have if they're coming from simpler platforms like Poshmark or Macari or Depop, eBay can seem a little overwhelming. So today's video is for you if you want to learn how to simply list on eBay. And the main message I want you to take from this video is you can do it. You can totally sell on eBay. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. It does not have to be complicated. Come along with me. We are going to list together step by step. So in this video, we are going to list two items together. I have this women's Eileen Fisher top. It's new with tags. It's a size large. I got this um, on Backstock. A wholesale company I have videos about that so we'll list this top together from start to finish so you see exactly how I do it and we'll also list these lululemon camouflage women's leggings that way you can see the subtle differences depending on what type of item that you're listing so I'm gonna take you over to my computer and we are gonna go step by step through the entire listing process so that you can see it's not scary it's not too complicated you can do it simply and start selling on eBay and then you have access to a much larger marketplace with so many more buyers. So come along with me, we'll do this together. Hey friends, so here we are on my main home screen. I have a store, so I have this thing called the Seller Hub. It may look different for you, but we're gonna go over to listings. And then we are going to find this button here that says create listing and click on it and we're going to do a single listing. That'll bring you to a page like this. Tell us what you're selling. So let's start with our Eileen Fisher top and it's going to show us some categories here. Is it a top, a sweater, a scarf? So we're going to go with tops And then it's going to put it into a listing in the correct category. So we're going to make this so simple. Here we are on the listing page. You want to start always with a great title. If you have been selling on Poshmark or another platform, you know how to make a title. But we're going to, I like to put Eileen Fisher, women top, women's top. I always do my listings the same way with the brand, who is it for and what is it? Women's top. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna go faster here and I'm gonna put that it's a tunic, it's purple, it's long. Mine happens to be new with tags, so I'll put that in the front there. And the neck is a cowl neck. It's good to put as many description words as you can in your title so that people can find your item and it'll also pre-populate on this listing template here. I'm gonna show you some things it is okay to not fill everything out. eBay asks for a lot of information. You're not going to use every drop-down menu and box. Do you want a standout title for $4? No, I'm not gonna click that. Do you want a subtitle for $1.50? No. Do I have a custom SKU? No. Category, it's put it in here under tops. Let's move on down. Store categories is if you're on eBay and you have a store and you have things organized by categories such as women's tops, women's activewear, women's swimwear, you could put it in here. I don't do that. Skip the UPC. The condition on this one, new with tags. Here is where you're gonna put all your photos. You're going to bring them from your computer or if you're listing on your phone. Photos go here. 
Now this is the required item specifics. And I love how eBay fills in from my title. So I'm just gonna go through and fill out as many as I can. The brand here pre-populated because of my title. The size type is regular. And the size on this is a women's large. So I'm gonna put that in. Moving on down, these are not required specifics. These are recommended specifics. So fill out as many as you can. What's the type? I'm gonna say mine is a blouse because it's not a button up, a polo, a tank, or a t-shirt. These aren't perfect, but you just keep moving along. The color purple already came in for me because of my title, the department women, the style tunic came in. This is great. Pattern. They give you lots of options here, but the most likely ones on the top, I'll click solid. The neckline is a, I'm gonna go down because mine is a cowl neck. Something like a cowl neck in here. Cowl neck is right here. Sleeve length is, I'm looking at my top, long sleeve. So this is where Poshmark sellers can get overwhelmed and say, why does eBay want me to put all these things in here? It's so that they can help buyers find your items in search so you just get on board you move through you go ahead you fill in as much as you can and if you can't fill it in you just leave it I'm looking for my material tag on this Eileen Fisher shirt so that I can fill this in it is viscose and spandex do they have viscose they do so I'm putting it right in there and here you can add any accents any themes, I tend to use leave these blank. Character, I leave blank. Features, it's all seasons. And you look down here, is there anything else? Is it easy care? Elastic waist, full zip. Lightweight, lined. You just go through and see, this is kind of oversized. I'll put that. Fit here, classic. Is it vintage, yes or no? No. Done, done with those overwhelming Item specifics, we kept it simple. Here's where you can put in your description. So I usually put in my title. I can copy and paste it right through here. So I'll copy and paste my title and I'll bring it right down to my description section. And I put measurements in, so I'll put the chest measurement and the length and I'll put the condition. I'll fill this out in more detail later. I won't waste your time on that now, but you can put whatever you want in your item description. Now let's go down to selling details. This is a point I want you to pay attention to because on eBay, it's different than Poshmark or Macari or other platforms. You can do fixed price or auction style. As a clothing reseller, I do 99% of my listings as fixed price. When should you use auction? You should only use auction if you have a rare or unique item, in my opinion, or something very competitive that you think will get bid up. Or if you wanna get rid of inventory, really cheap, stale inventory, and you wanna put everything on auction for 99 cents, go for it. But I choose with closing to do fixed price, good till canceled. Start my listings when I submit them as default, I recommend that. Here's another part to pay attention to, your buy it now price. So I'm gonna put in here, this retailed for 128. So let's say I put in 49.99. But here's an awesome thing about eBay. You can use their best offer feature. I checked the box that says, let buyers make offers. Allowing offers increases your chance of selling by three to 7% based on recent individual listing seller performance. I'm gonna automatically select an offer that comes in that's 45. I do not ever automatically decline offers because I like to be able to negotiate. So this here, friends, is similar to Poshmark's sending offers to likers. But this allows customers to send you an offer. So I highly recommend it. I sell almost all my stuff with Buy It Now. You can decide what you wanna do with this personally, but I do let them make offers and I automatically accept offers. I don't choose to automatically decline any offers because I want to negotiate with my potential buyers. 
I don't fill out any of this. You can choose if you want to make a donation, another great offer. I don't use that. If you're doing sales tax, I leave all this blank. I don't worry about it. Now here's the other part that sometimes throws Poshmark sellers because it's about shipping. Again, watch my video all about eBay shipping. I will break it down so simple for you, so don't worry about it. But I do um, PayPal for my listings, and you're gonna put your shipping policy here. Watch my other video on that. I do first class shipping, but here's all your shipping options that you can set up ahead of time. I do have a return policy, and that comes in here default for me, but your return policy will go here. You can view your return policy, create one right here, or edit. I have another video all about creating your return policy, so watch that if you want more details on that. And then we're going to go down to here, your package and weight. I leave this blank because I do it when I do my shipping, but you could fill in if you choose to your package and weight dimensions here. I leave this blank. Okay, and so then we are done here. For this case of this tutorial, I'm going to save it as a draft, but you can preview it and then list it here. Let's do another one. I'll do a little faster without as much explanation. So we just listed the Eileen Fisher top. How do you think it went? If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below so I can answer them for you. I think we should do another listing together over on my computer step by step. We'll do the Lululemon leggings so that you can see the subtle differences when you're listing a top versus some activewear leggings. And if you're enjoying this video, if you're learning something, please be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you get other educational videos. I have other videos that'll come in handy, such as eBay shipping explained, how to make eBay shipping simple for you as well. I do a lot of unboxings and I do a live video every Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific time on the channel that's all about reselling. So you can meet other community members other resellers for encouragement, education, and support. We'd love to see you there. So make sure you're subscribed and that you've given this video a thumbs up. Create another listing. I'm going to put Lulu Lemon uh, leggings. And so some categories come up. They are active wear pants. So I'm going to put as much information as I can in here because it will pre-populate it for me. So these are Lululemon leggings. They're camouflage, they're black. They are a size, I'm looking for that elusive size dot. They're a size six. I haven't looked up the style on these yet, but I will. Okay, Lululemon, Lululemon getting my title good here, women leggings. I'm not gonna fill out any of these other things. Remember from the last listing, I'm just going to go down to the condition is the next thing I fill out. Everything else I'm leaving blank. These are pre-owned. Then you can write a little something here, which I like, it shows up on the first page. These are excellent. I got these in a thread up box. I'm so grateful. Here is where you'll put your photos. You'll just add photos here. And then this is the required section and it fills some things in. And look, it put the brand as camo, which is incorrect. So I'm gonna change it to Lulu Lemon. It comes on this drop down menu. Moving down the screen, the color filled in black, the department women, the style. Um, sometimes these things are not accurate. Like these are not cropped or capri. They're not really, um, any of these things, so I'm just gonna write in leggings. Uh, size type, I'm gonna put regular. Size, I'm going to put six. I think that's what I said they were. Type came in for me here, leggings. If I knew the product line, I haven't looked these up yet, I could put it there. Occasion activewear, performance activity, it came up with yoga, but you could check something here. I don't know what the exact material is on these. I think it's like an elastane. Again, just fill in what you can. Do not stress out about trying to get everything in there. As much as you can is great, 
but you don't have to stress about it. If it doesn't make sense to you or it's not right, just keep moving on with your life. Fill in what you can. Okay, so I've got these things filled in. Now you can write your description here. When you're more advanced, you can create templates. So I put in here, I would put my description. I put measurements and condition in my description. Then here we are down to formatting the price. Like I said, I do fixed price on things. I have it start as soon as I submit it. I put a buy it now price in here. I choose to let buyers make offers. I highly recommend it. I'm going to accept an offer of 45. I'm just doing this quickly with you. I haven't done my research on these, but I think these will go for a lot because they're camo and they're full length. Okay, so I don't put in any of this other stuff. Leave it all blank, in my opinion, unless you, you choose you're going to do this for your business. My payment policy comes up. My shipping policy comes up. If you're curious about these, I have other videos to simplify this. My return policy is here. I have another video all about return policy. And then you're done. You can um, list it, preview it for this. I'm going to save it as a draft because I didn't put my pictures in. So there we go. Another listing done really quick that time, right? All right, friends. Good job. Okay, so I want to add an, a note here. If you're coming from another platform like Poshmark, you can cross post all the listings you already have on Poshmark over to eBay using Vendu. Just a note, I still think that if you're new to listing on eBay, you should do a few listings manually the way we are today before trying to cross post directly over to eBay so that you know what eBay listings are supposed to look like and what the information the eBay listing is looking for. So be sure to do some on your own. And then if you want to cross post, go for it. Okay, friends, I think you're ready to go try and list some things on eBay on your own now. Be sure to leave me a comment and let you know, let me know what you think. And if you have any questions about this or if I can help you in any way, remember to check out my eBay shipping video so that you learn all the basics of uh, shipping very easily so you'll know what to do. I'll link it in the description section below. And I'll see you in the next video, friends. Make sure to like the video and subscribe on the way out.